do continue to follow those new developments in Hanford where it was a chaotic and scary scene in the heart of downtown. Police say a former employee of the Candace and Company jewelry store in Hanford rammed his truck into the building and then opened fire before killing himself. Juanita Adame with more on what unfolded. Well, a tow truck finally moved that truck out of this jewelry store at about six o'clock this evening, nearly three hours after this incident happened. Now, once that truck was removed, there was a lot of glass and debris that needed to be cleaned up. Daniel Merlos, a manager at this coffee shop in downtown Hanford, was just finishing his lunch break when he heard what sounded like screeching tires. What I saw was the truck, it just the uh, it started like peeling out. What followed, he said, was something he was not expecting. A few cars on the way and then it went straight into the building. This black truck crashed into the Candace and Company jewelry store. The bang was really loud. Uh, I thought it was like probably like two or three cars that crashed, but mm -hmm. when, I when, when I looked, it was the truck that was all the way in the back. He and another witness quickly ran over to see if the driver was okay, but they were quickly met with gunfire. I ran into the building with another gentleman. He was probably like two or three feet in front of me. And then uh, we just started hearing the gunshots going off. Police say the store's owner, an employee and customers were inside at the time. We believe it was an ex-employee. And after he drove into the business, he fired several rounds at people that were in the business and then subsequently took his own life. None of the people in the store were hit by the gunfire, but they suffered minor injuries from the truck crashing into the store. Investigators said the man died in the store behind the wheel of his truck. But you don't expect this to happen, especially on like such a small mom pop operation um, for something like this to happen. But it just shows you, you got to be careful nowadays and, and workplace violence can occur anywhere. Now the man's name has not been released at this time. We were told by witnesses on scene that he was a former jeweler at this jewelry store. The people inside the store at the time of the crash suffered only minor injuries.